Hello and welcome to Exchange Server 2016 training, the course of adventure. Well, my name is Parvison Joe and I have got 11 years of experience in networking domain and I've been working with different um, networking environments where uh, I've worked with enterprise, mid-level, small businesses and different organizations and I have dealt with different technologies and one of those technologies were Microsoft Exchange Server and uh, so um, I've got Bachelor of Science uh, degree in information technology and uh, I have got Microsoft and Cisco certifications and Microsoft certifications that I got is Microsoft Certified Solution Expert Server 2012 and uh, Exchange 2013. I've got Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, Microsoft Certified Information Technology Professional, Server 2008, Exchange 2007 and SharePoint 2007. So I got a couple other um, um, certifications in Microsoft uh, too and I got Cisco certifications and um, I am Cisco certified uh, network professional and uh, Cisco certified design professional um, and I also got CCIE which is uh, internet work expert um, written in security. I also got um, ITIL which is IT management uh, version 3 so uh, this is my introduction and most of you is thinking that how is it called the course of adventure because I'm going to make it adventures for you all you're gonna love it and you're gonna see uh, different practices different uh, techniques and ideas on how to manage uh, your exchange server, how to troubleshoot your exchange server, how to deal with it on a daily basis. So all those things will be part of this training. So I'm gonna make, I'm going to make sure that um, I just uh, share all my experience and knowledge with you. And uh, at the end of this course, uh, you are able to do these three things. So. That's our course objectives. Uh, once you all are done with uh, uh, this video uh, training series, uh, you will be able to do um, three things that you see here. So, first thing first, all those professionals or all those professionals that are that the, who are already working in Exchange and uh, they they want to uh, implement or deploy or just want to upgrade their existing exchange server environment uh, they will be able to do that uh, because installing exchange server is an easy thing uh, uh, if you do it because most applications are like uh, um, next 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 finish uh, but ex I'll take my word back that it's not an easy thing exchange is not an easy thing but some applications are like installing some applications are really easy but Exchange Server is not like that. So before installing Exchange Server, you have to understand what are the requirements, what are the best practices, what are the techniques, and what knowledge you need to have in order to install Exchange Server, especially when you're running on a production environment, uh, because when it's production environment, everything is up and running, and you don't know what you're doing, like you're doing upgrade from Server 2000, like uh, Exchange Server 2013 or 10 to 2016 and you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna break uh, things. Uh, so you need to know how to properly upgrade or how to properly work on Exchange Server 2016 environment. So uh, the next thing that you will be able to do is you will be preparing uh, yourself to take Exchange Server 2016 exam. So let me just show you quickly something. So as you can see in here, um, I have got uh, this uh, link in here that I also have it in, in, in the slide. So uh, you can see that uh, Microsoft.com ENUS learning exam 70-345. So all exams that you take, they have their exam code. So for Exchange Server 2016, the code is 70-345. Uh, so as you can see, 
this is designing and deploying a Microsoft Exchange Server 2016 and the exam fee is 165 I remember when I took my Exchange 2007 I just paid like $90 I guess so it's getting expensive, uh, expensive these days so anyways uh, so you see that this is how you can just see the uh, like how much you have to pay you can schedule exam from here once you click in here you will have to um, you will be prompted for uh, uh, exam registration page and there you will have to sign in with your mic hotmail account and then put your information in and there and then uh, and then you will be able to uh, do uh, the um, exam um, you will just select what training center you want to choose like what time all those things so um, the other thing that is important in here is uh, um, objectives so, so you can see in here like one two three four five six the first thing like these are your ob objectives or these are the outlines that you have to cover the first thing is plan deploy manage and troubleshoot and this is going to cover 15 to 20 percent of your exam so meaning that you have to know all these things in here in order to pass the exam so these are uh, the areas that you need to learn and uh, in this training series uh, we are going to go through all these and we will make sure that once you're done with this you uh, you are just prepared for the exam so um, you can just go in this page and see um, what are uh, the requirements and how can you take the exam like if you just expand this you will be able to see like what what parts you need to cover so all these things you can just see it in here so I'll just uh, go ahead and uh, go with the third one and the third one is uh, something that you will love so that's work like an experience exchange server guru so once you're done if you're professional if you're new or if you're willing to improve your career I promise if you follow what I am teaching if you follow the labs if you follow the uh, materials that we have um, you you make your own lab as I'm going to do you will be the exchange server 2016 guru you will be able to work on an environment I'll I'll give you the day-to-day practical or real life uh, examples uh, just to make sure that you all are learning uh, what you need to learn in order to for example if you're going for interview if you're going to deploy it in your environment or if you are a professional who is trying to improve his career uh, so uh, just follow me um, and uh, you will see the results so let's go to third one the third uh, slide is initial lab so I'm going to expand this lab um, based on our requirements so uh, uh, you can see in here that I've got two labs and I'm going to build this lab from scratch in a virtual environment and I'm gonna show you how to install like uh, VMware workstation and then how to install servers how to install like domain controller so this is going to be something like in most training if you see uh, most of the things are already set up but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna walk through uh, every single step from from the start and uh, I'm gonna make sure that all of you catch up uh, like on everything from the scratch so that most of you who have got no experience who are students who are trying to learn they know how to make or build their own environment at home at their office make sure your boss is not gonna catch you <laughs> so uh, um, I'm so excited because I'm, I'm just gonna I'm, I have got uh, many plans for you guys and uh, um, to make sure that everyone is gonna learn uh, 
what they need to. So we got New York Lab and we got Sacramento Lab. So we're gonna have two domain controllers, one on each, and we got two exchange uh, in here, like one on each. And later on, when we um, learn new things, we will add one more domain on each side and one more exchange on each side, and uh, we will we will uh, see how. Uh, we will do the like load balancing uh, between our domain controllers, our exchange servers, uh, like if one exchange database goes down or one exchange server goes down, how the other is going to handle. So I hope that this, this is going to be uh, useful for all of you and uh, um, let's uh, jump into next video and thank you very much uh, for watching.